guys, Sean here. Welcome back to another frugal vlog. Today I'm doing things just a little different. I've got my Action 4 out instead of the Pocket. Just to try it out, to be honest. It, um, it works great. I've used it tons before. I just haven't used it since I got over here. Except for doing a little bit of B-roll shots of the food and stuff when I was doing it. But they recently came out with an update for the firmware that allows for my mic 2 to connect to it. So I thought I would make a video just testing it out and going out for a little walk. Uh, heading off to the Secon Square. So yeah, I'm on a quest today to get a new pair of headphones. Uh, I have a set that I, well, I should say I had a set. I have since tossed them away. Um, I think they're Soundcore or something or other. I bought them when I was... Uh, trying to think in Montreal so that's a fair number of years ago now I think about three if not maybe a little bit more uh, they've been solid for me I've loved them they still worked great up until the time I had to get rid of them the only problem was that the ear cup foam well the uh, the plastic pleathery covering for it uh, that started to fail and it separated there was a little seam inside so in true frugal fashion I duct taped it back together and that lasted up until about a week ago uh, and then the the glue from the uh, the tape it just finally peeled off the uh, the plastic leathery skin and so and the whole thing separated and then to top it off the uh, the foam inside started to fall apart so it was like disintegrating and I'm like, Ugh. I just realized there was nothing I could do. I could not get extra cups for it. Like it, it, they just didn't sell it or I, you know, there's no way to even get them because of the way that they're manufactured. The, uh, the cups were adhered to the, the frame. So it wasn't just like something you could pull off and put on again. So I use uh, those all the time. Uh, in Canada, I use them all the time for walking. Um, I use earbuds here because I have um, pass-through on them. So I can listen to them fairly low and I can still hear everything around me. But I need earphones for working on uh, my computer. Uh, I also have a gaming channel that I do. So I do a fair amount of gaming with headphones on. And I have a set of in-ear monitors uh, they're basically just like a wired set of, of headphones. They have like a little bit that goes around the ear and they kind of sit in your ear. They got really good sound uh, and they're great. The only downside to them is that once I start playing for hours, my ears uh, where they touch start to ache. And then my, uh, my ear canals have been starting to feel less than happy. So. I'm like, you know what? I have way too many things that I shove in my ears. I just want to have a nice set of headphones that I can put on and just game with. Now, I did go out the other day and look, and I had a hell of a time trying to find anything that wasn't USB. Back in Canada, couldn't find USB headphones to save my soul. Uh, here, everything. So, again, I'm going to a computer store where I was looking for them. That may be my mistake, but yeah, we're on a quest for headphones. I know, the kind of video everybody is geared for, but hey, this is what happens when you uh, come to a foreign country and you're trying to find something that you would think would be basic and simple. So the trials and tribulations, trying to find a pair of headphones. We'll see how it goes. This is one store I did not try the other day. What are you looking at here? These are power banks and whatnot. Apple products. 23, so yeah. Controllers are a little dear for Xbox ones, but kind of to be expected. 
headphones. To be honest, none of them really seem amazing. I mean, the Sony ones are probably the better of the ones that I know of, but not really up for spending. Uh, that's 30 bucks. Wireless ones or more. Like they don't have anything that's like 20 bucks. Just where, like, I don't need a fancy set of headphones. I just need something cheap. Yeah, this is the joy. It's so hard. Like some tech here is really easy to get a hold of. Like cell phones, computers, that kind of stuff. Really, really easy to find. But there are some components that are just like bizarre for me that I can't get access to. Or if I do find them, they're really, really expensive. But I think the next thing I'm going to try is down. This is the basement area of the uh, Seacon Square. There is a section that it's kind of like a market inside the mall. So I'm kind of curious to see how well that would do. But I'm not too sure. We'll go in. It's uh, I did see a pair in JIB that were around 20, 25. So that, that could be a thing. But the other problem I had is I found some that were cheaper. There's like the Mr. DIY, which is like a dollar store, but um, they didn't expand. So they were like really, really small. And if you're Western and you have a big fat head like I have, it can be difficult to find headphones that's going to fit. So you end up having to get earbuds, right? So yeah, trying to find headphones here could be kind of questionable. I do like this spot though. It's kind of like having like an outdoor market with air conditioning, which uh, would be handy. Okay, it's kind of electronic y stuff. So I'm also kind of on the lookout for an audio interface for DJing. So I got multiple things I'm on the outlook for, but who knows what I will find, if anything, today or ever here. I have not had the best of luck. I have very unique and specific things that I'm looking for. So there are some things that I kind of wish I had brought with me, but I didn't. Like I have um, simple audio interface, not lightweight, but it was kind of bulky. So I didn't bring it. And again, I couldn't have brought anything. I, I had everything packed exactly the way I needed to. So I'm second guessing myself for no good reason. Which is fine. But it's just that I'm here, I'm like, oh. I think it's the other thing too. It's like you have all this stuff back home and you're like, oh yeah, you know, just go into my closet, go into my thing. I have that. And I'm, I'm here and I'm like, I don't have any of that stuff. Okay, so there's some headphones here. Let's see what these are. Let's see what we got here. Hello. USB, USB. I'm just looking for um, headphones like these, but with three quarter inch, not USB. Yeah, not USB, the regular plug. Yeah, like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for headphones like th with these. Oh, this one. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, I need the, uh, I need the ones, yeah. I have these, but it hurts. <laughs> like it's like it's sore. So thank you. Gap So I came into another store that I was scrambling around in. So I looked over here, and this is where they have all of the higher end stuff, like the Cooler Master, you know, two thousand baht, nine hundred baht, thirty two hundred baht. Like it's all higher end pricing. Logitech, which I won't go for, but it ranges from too high. Again, I just need a pair of headphones. So came down here. These were getting closer. 1,500. I'm like, okay. And then boom. Found these EGA 
ones. This one's 290. This one's 220. And it has what I'm looking for. I think I found where I need to get my headphones. 200 baht. 300 baht are good. So this one the USB only. This one is both. I was looking at this one because it's 290 because it's purple. I do like me purple. But H105s. I think this one shows the cabling. This one doesn't. <laughs> and this one, the 106, seems to have both. And H12. I think these are the ones I'm going to get. Regular 295. But RGB, USB, and 3.5. If these white ones are the same price, I'll grab the whites. I'll let you guys know. So that actually went better than I was expecting. Uh, I ended up grabbing that one. It was $220. Uh, it was mismarked. It, <laughs> it was all $249. 29 bought. I mean, it's like a dollar, if that. So, uh, yeah. I'll take that. 200 Like I was saying, as everything else was up in around... It's like 10 bucks or something, like not even, um, which is comfortable. So these are the ones that I end up getting. It is, uh, I got RGB bling, which I don't really care about, but it has like a big head scoop for it and the microphone, which I never really use because I have my own microphone, but it has a decent, uh, you know, decent size ear cups. They're big and huge, which is exactly what I wanted. So yeah. Uh, that was a lot of farting around, honestly. But I think once you figure out where to go, there was a couple of different stores to hit. And once I figured out what I was doing, it was easier. But, uh, yeah, one thing I've learned over here in Southeast Asia is that the stores that I'm used to looking for don't exist. So we don't have a bunch of the stores. So what I have been raised and trained to use for most of my life, I have to relearn again. So... What I'm doing is going into stores that kind of look like what I'm need, and I'm going there. Um, name brand stuff, though, it like it is back home. It's it's, it's stupid expensive, and I'm not falling for it. But uh, Logitech, for some reason, is exceptionally popular and very expensive here. Um, don't quite get what that is because back home Logitech is, well, it's popular, but um, yeah, I don't I, I haven't seen it as expensive like. There was a headphone here that I know that my son had and I had years ago that I didn't care for. I didn't like the quality on it at all. And that was way more expensive here than it was back in Canada. So I don't get it. Don't get it at all. Anyway, I'm going to head out and continue on and get myself some lunch. I'll see you guys very soon in our next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.